welcome back to my channel my name's Elise and I am in recovery from anorexia so I wanted to do this video because it's something I'm really working through at the moment um something quite challenging um and that is actually choosing recovery and that sounds really weird because I'm doing recovery videos it sounds like I've already made my choice to recover but in actual fact like you have to choose recovery every day. You have to choose recovery every meal, every bite you take. That is you choosing recovery. Every urge you go against, that is you choosing recovery. And so I wanted to do a video on that um, because I think it's really important that to remind you that we do need to consciously choose recovery, um, particularly in the early stages. Like every day I know that I have to make myself eat the food, make myself go against urges um to exercise or move and stuff like that and even then i'm still really struggling because like i said it's still really early days but i w want you to know that you know we can choose this and we can do this together so i'm going to choose recovery um right now and i'm going to go get a rather challenging snack for dessert i'm going to have a magnum which is an ice cream um and i have challenged it a few times before but after weighing today like they're really pushing me to increase my intake so this is me um choosing recovery and i will see you soon and also it's your turn to come grab a snack with me come eat an ice cream with me tonight i will see you in a minute and guilty and i'm trying to rephrase that instead of saying i am panicking i am feeling guilty i'm trying to say something that i learned from one of megzy recovery's podcasts the rewired podcast is i notice i am feeling panicky so then i don't identify with the emotion as much but that's just something i'm working on but what i wanted to talk about is choosing recovery it is a conscious decision we have to make every time we eat every time we get an urge we have to choose the recovery option and that's hard. That's freaking hard. It is the hardest thing we're ever going to do. And, you know, I've had a lot of comments lately because I've gotten a lot tanner um, because it's summer in Australia. We're outside a lot. Um, a lot of people keep telling me how healthy I'm looking, which is really hard to put up with because I am not healthy. I am not at a healthy weight and I'm becoming more and more aware of that. And I'm getting really self-conscious in what I wear, scared to show my body off completely, um, my body image and my like how I see myself is really, really warped. So but that's a whole different issue. Back to choosing recovery. So I did this task um, this morning while I had breakfast. It's a pros and cons of recovery and not changing list. So instead of just having the pros of recovery and the cons of recovery, you've got pros of recovery, cons of recovery, pros of staying the same, cons of staying the same. So then you're looking at everything from a different like a, a complete perspective of the issue and so I actually did this when I was an inpatient and I just wanted to do it again because I really needed the motivation today because I felt like giving up like I'm just in a really bad headspace I'm panicking all the time and but I don't want to give up I want to recover I don't want to have to go back and cycle through the hospital system again and it's completely fine if you've never been to hospital either that's just what had to happen for me at a certain time but so I'll put the template up here um, and what you can see is that 
you write out all the pros of recovery. So this could be things like your freedom, your fertility, um, less or no ED thoughts, um, eating what you want, being more social, being able to travel, being able to focus on things like work and uni, having less medical appointments. Think about all the money that's going to save. And for me, being a positive influence for those around me as well. But then I also look at the cons of recovery. So this can be like dealing with the challenging emotions and the body changes and weight gain and worsening body image. Um, maybe that idea of having reduced care or loss of coping mechanism. And also for me, loss of an excuse is a really big one. Um, but then the pros of not changing and staying in this anorexia life forever. Yeah, I might stay thin. Yes, there might be less bad feelings and I feel safe. Um, and I save money on food, but when I look at the cons of not changing, I'm controlled by anorexia. There's no freedom there. I'm infertile. I, I can't have kids and I really want to have a family. It's very isolating. Like, I don't know how many social events I've missed because of it. Um, you know, medical appointments are expensive and they take up a lot of time. I'm miserable. I'm not happy. I'm kidding myself if I were to say I'm happy being like this in this rigid life still. And, you know, being like the side effects of being malnourished, being cold all the time, being like getting sick more often, having dry hair. Um, so I thought that was a really useful tool to do to help you choose recovery because then you're focusing on what recovery can give you. And as hard as it is to get there, it does work. Like I feel a little bit more motivated now and I'm really going to push myself today because I don't have a choice anymore. I want to recover. I'm choosing recovery. And as much as those feelings are going to be hard and they're going to suck, I know it's the right choice. So I will probably see you for snack today. So make sure you have your snack with me and we can have another chat soon. So we're just heading home from the shops and I've just been really overcome with emotion. Right now, like I feel like I just want to cry, almost just started randomly crying in the supermarket because it was really overwhelming today. We put a whole lot of new foods in our um, shopping basket, which I'm supposed to be trying soon. But I honestly don't feel ready at all. Well, Elise, you're never going to feel ready. It's never going to be the right time. So what you're going to have to do is just say, I'm doing it. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? We're, we never feel ready. We're never gonna feel ready to do this. And, but it's now or never. And yep. I just have to accept the fact that these hard feelings are gonna stick around for a while. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. I think I just need to accept that and stop trying to run away from all my feelings. And that's choosing recovery. That's, you know, choosing to go through the hard stuff because we can't skip it, unfortunately. I'm sure if we could, we would. And no one willingly would choose to go through all of this. So choosing recovery is choosing to do the hard things and feel like shit and do it anyway. Um, I've heard that said a lot. So You can do hard things. Thank you. Um, we all can. And you are. Yeah, so I will see you soon for snack. And yeah, hopefully I'll be a little bit more motivated again. My motivation from this morning's kind of disappeared, so... Um, I'm not sure what I'm having yet either. I think that's playing on my nerves a little bit. But hey, you know, it's all good. It's recovery. It's going to be hard, but we've done hard things before. We can do hard things again. So I will see you soon. Everything is screaming at me to stop. So I'll just go for a lower calorie option or something. I do love gingerbread men. Yes. Mm. Well, you got the last four. 
don't know why liquid calories feel so much harder than... But here we are, we're doing the hard things. Having sweet snack, orange juice and gingerbread. Choosing recovery. <laughs> said my head is literally screaming at me now for having that to eat but that's choosing recovery it's going to be the hardest road it's going to be the option that scares you the most and it's the option you have to go for if you want to recover so like my head is telling me right now to like go and exercise go and restrict later on but no we don't compensate we keep going because the more you feed your eating disorder, the more it's going to want to take from you. So the best thing you can do is just distract yourself, phone a friend, um, journal, do some paint by numbers, anything to help you just ride that urge out. So then you can keep choosing recovery. And sometimes you will slip up. Sometimes, you know, you might end up going for the lower calorie option and that is okay. Don't bully yourself don't hate yourself if you can't do everything right away maybe you need more support maybe you need to look at how you're doing things but just don't ever give up like one slip up isn't a relapse or a lapse it's just a slip up you can keep coming from it coming back from it so i'm gonna go and distract myself for a bit um and i hope this video has helped you in deciding to choose recovery by doing that little pros and cons list but also just showing that we can sit with the hard emotions and the hard feelings. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. I'm thinking maybe some more challenge videos because I really need to start pushing myself now. You know, I don't want to be stuck in this quasi recovery stage where I'm half recovered and not really going for it. Plus, I... I have to accept I need to gain weight and I need to get better because the life I want is it a higher BMI than the one I'm at now? Not that BMI defines anything, but I'm not happy. And I know that recovery can bring me a lot more happiness and a lot more freedom. So great job for eating your snack today and just congratulate yourself for how far you've come. I will see you next time.